I represent the Bride of Christ Church, which is life and life more abundantly. And we are living in the time of the coming of our bridegroom. And we are not in love with the undertaker. And the Bible said, The dead in Christ shall rise first, and those of us that are alive and remain shall be caught up together with them forever to be with the Lord. Now that is, is the group I belong to is preparing the bride of Christ for him, the bridegroom. And I have nothing to do with death or funerals or graves. I have nothing to do with that. But life and life more abundantly is preparing the bride of Christ church for the coming of the bridegroom. And so those of you that love life and life more abundantly and want to stay in perfect health and, and uh, have the angels encamping around you, I have, through my lifetime, had about 25 holy angels have visited me and a whole choir of angels came down from heaven when I was about 21 and they were singing this song. It was about two o'clock in the morning and they were hovering over my house on Cherry Grove Road up by Jamestown, Ohio. And they were singing this song, like, Brighten the corner where you are. 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 And I was helping a choir of angels that were visiting me sing that song. And, and see, that is what is the glory of God that shines on us. That is brightening the bride of Christ. And we don't have nothing to do with death, the graves, nothing like that. But he's looking for a bride. And he's the bridegroom. So we call our group life and life more abundantly, the Bride of Christ Church. So I just wanted people to know that, that we are expecting the bridegroom to come and we're not laying in no graves because the Bible said he tasted death for every man. And those of us that will believe it have passed from death unto life and life more abundantly. And that's the name of my ministry is life and life more abundantly, okay?